A new study by the CDC says over 80% of urine samples drawn from children and adults contained a weed-killing chemical linked to cancer. It's a finding that scientists have called disturbing and concerning. Sarah Costa spoke with an environmental scientist about what's being done to keep our food protected and how you can protect yourself. Pesticides, chemicals used to kill weeds, pest bacteria, and fungi in agriculture. And now they're in our bodies. The CDC says 80% of children and adults in the U.S. had traces of a widely used weed killer in their urine samples. So how is that possible? The major exposure or pathway, we say, is uh, through our food. Dr. Salgada Data, University of Texas San Antonio professor of earth and planetary sciences, says it can also end up in our water from agricultural runoff. But we mainly get them from what we eat. That's because more than 200 million pounds of glyphosate, a widely used weed killer, are used annually by U.S. farmers on their fields. And that's not accounting for other pesticides sprayed daily. Data says this can be harmful to us and the health risks depend on the amount in our systems and the toxicity of the chemicals. And there are several categories of these chemicals that can include antimicrobial and antivirus properties, which may interfere with normal body functioning of the human body. He says some can damage the nervous system, cause cancer or create hormonal balances or disrupt the endocrine system. It's why data says over the last decade, laws have been put in place. So there was a collective effort that was done from the EPA side and the pesticide data program that prohibited use of certain pesticides for certain crops and certain fruits. Certain pesticides are banned from potatoes, green beans, grapes, strawberries, and almonds, just to name a few. But that doesn't keep us completely safe from consuming them in our food. However, there are certain precautions you can take to keep you safe. Like shopping at organic grocery stores. For example, Whole Foods lists what's in their products on their website and are a USDA organic store. Washing, peeling, and cooking. These are all ways that can protect you from the pesticides that are sprayed on your food. But data says not to panic because the real solution is more transparency between the farmers and the consumers. To have a notification of what type of pesticides, what was the quantity, I think, and when it comes as a bulk to the market, these information have to be transferred. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.